right, so Harvest Moon off of the Harvest Moon album, released in 1992. This was kind of a sequel to um, the Harvest album, which was released 20 years earlier in 1972. And uh, he got together um, a lot of the same musicians uh, to record this album, including Linda Ronstadt, who sings the background vocals on this. She sang the background vocals on um, Heart of Gold, too, um, from Harvest. And uh, also Ben Keith is on here, um, the pedal steel guitar player. He just was a great musician, you know. Um, played pedal steel on Heart of Gold and all through the Harvest album. He's been with Neil Young forever, was with him. He said he passed away a few years ago. And uh, his big break into the music business was he played on Patsy Cline's um, I Fall to Pieces. Uh, <laughs> that's going way back. It's a great song. Patsy Cline is a great singer. Anyways, let's get on with this one. Um, you know, this is one of those songs that comes along just once in a while, right? Uh, just a great, great song. Um, I think it'll be one of the songs that Neil will be remembered for because it's just a beautiful song. It's, it's got such great sentiment. And it's got that really uh, laid-back kind of feel that um, really only Neil Young can do, you know. He's such a feel player. And uh, I'm going to try and show you, you know, like the chords in this are not hard. The left hand is not difficult at all, but it's, it's getting the feel of it that'll be tough, right? And it's all about the right hand. It's all about the strumming, okay? So we're in the key of D here, and we're in drop D, so we're going to drop that E string down to our D string. Okay, and we're going to start up here with just two notes. It's like a, like a D chord, right? But we're going to go open D and open E and just fret um, G11 and B10. And we're going to start with just a an up down so it'll be like a one two three four and one up down right and then we're going to go like this this is kind of the main theme okay and um you know, I'm sure Neil never plays this the same way twice. It's, it's just a feel thing. But I'm going to try and show you some specific strumming patterns that might help you out a bit here. So we start with that up down, right? And they're going to go. It's like a down, down, up. And on that second down, we're going to get that um, B note on B12. And then let it go back to B10 for that upstroke. So it'd be like uh, down, down, up, right? Down, down, up. Okay. And sometimes he'll go down, down, up, down. He adds that extra downbeat. So you're either gonna, and this is throughout the whole song, according to you know what I hear. Um, I only hear two variations of that. So it's either or uh, because I think the tendency is to overplay this song. I see a lot of guys, you know, play like a you know, they just play too much, right? But it's very subtle. And playing less is going to be more effective. Okay, so that's your first figure. And then we're going to go to this chord, which is basically a D major 7. But instead of going D12, we're going to go open D. Right? And then just um, G11, B10, E9. Okay, so we've got... And that's just an up, up, right? Up, 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 down, up. Up, 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 down, up. Da, 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 da. So we put the two together and we've got... Again.
Okay, and the, the trick with these strumming songs always, and I say this a lot in my videos, is to keep the hand moving, right? <laughs> And you'll notice that, you know, I'm hitting that low, those low strings in there too, right? So real slow. Okay, so that's kind of the main theme. You're going to play that a lot in the song, all right? Um, and then we're going to get into the singing, and he's going to play this chord, it's like an E minor 7. And with drop D, all we're going to do here is just go um, E2 and A2. Use whatever fingers you want there, it doesn't matter. And it's just strumming, right? And then we go to uh, just a regular D. And we're going to play this pattern. Okay, and that's one of those things that looks really easy. <laughs> but it's really tricky to get this right because you've got to be really accurate with your strumming. Okay, so what we've got to think about, like let's forget about the bottom end. Let's just think about the main kind of lick, which is... Okay, so first of all, we don't want to hit this E string at all in this lick. The highest note we're going to hit is the D note on um, B3. And we're going to go down. And then we're going to go. Okay, so we're going from that D to that D major 7. And remembering we're not hitting that E string at all. And then we're going to go over one string, get that D string, and play an A chord. And we're going to upstroke from the G string on that A chord. That's B string, D string, and then G string on the A chord. And the last one is an upstroke, same thing from the G string, but we're going to hit D4 to get that F sharp note. And the last upstroke is on the A again from the G. So. Okay, and then we got to add in the low notes. So we're hitting that low, you know, both strings, all three strings, really. Okay, and that might be a little bit tricky for people to get. Uh, because the, the low part is very subtle. You don't want to emphasize that. You want to emphasize the high part. And then we're back to this E minor 7. Okay. Let me do that again. And now we're going to go to this chord, which is like a G chord. We've got that E in it which is like the 6th or the 13th, however you want to look at it. Okay, but we don't have to worry about any of that stuff. All we got to do is take that on our E minor 7 and just move it up to the 5th fret. Just E5 and uh, A5. And this is where the U's come in. This is where the Linda Ronstad thing comes in.
we're back to that first theme, right? Can we do this again? And then we're into the chorus, and that's like a, just an A um, sus4. A little finger on uh, B3, and we got D2 there, and then A7, back to the sus, A7, That's it. That's all there is to this one. Um, and like I said, it's really about getting the feel, you know. And I think the tendency is to overplay it. So, you know, you don't want to... You know, you don't want to be <laughs> hammering away at it, right? Uh, it's, it's got a real light touch. So that's it pretty well for the rhythm. The only other part is the harmonic part. Um, and all that is is 12th fret E, B, G, and D. Da, 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 da. And then we're going to end up with the um, 7th fret of the A string. Okay, and the important thing here, kind of vital actually, is you don't want to do this. Because what I did there is I deadened. When I hit that, I deadened those ones. And that's not what you want to do. You want to have those ringing. So in the end, you've got, you've got all five strings ringing, right? And a little trick to do that is when you hit that first one, um, you know, you're kind of laying your finger across their 12th fret. As you come down, as you hit them, you kind of angle your finger. So instead of going, we're going, right? So they're all sounding. And when we hit that fifth one, they're all ringing, okay? So that's the key there. All right? And, you know, if you're playing with a buddy or whatever, and he does that, uh, and you do that, it just sounds awesome, right? Just really, really nice part. And that that's doubled on the acoustic guitars on the record. And also the um, um, Ben Keith is doubling it with his... Um, lap steel there too and the other cool part about this if you watch the video is the broom you know they got the broom in there <laughs> and it's kind of you know doing a kind of a beat with the broom which um is really cool and also the drums are brushes in my demo i i don't have brushes on my drum machine so it's just a just a click right anyways that's about it for this one beautiful song i really really love this song it's really fun to play one of those songs that's not that hard um, technically you know um, like I said it's all about the feel you know getting the feel is a whole other thing but it sounds really nice those chords sound really really good really really full and big right anyways I hope you uh, get something out of this lesson. I hope you have a good time playing this song. It's a great song. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.